Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shannon, if we haven't met yet, and this is my channel where I just talk about houseplants because why not, you know? Um, this video has, it's taken me a long time to film it. Anyway, there's not much going on. Um, we're moving, so I don't, I can't really do like a plant tour or stuff like that. So I thought that I would just do like a collective quarantine plant haul and just show you what I've been buying over quarantine because your girl's been shopping. So, um, let's just get right into it. So the first one that I have, this is in no particular order. Um, so I'm just going to grab the one that's right next to me. Okay, so this is my lovely, lovely Anthurium Clarinervium. I love her so much. Um, I'm just really excited to have her. I got, her, I got it from um, Green Spaces ID. I ordered it like three months before it actually shipped to me just because of with everything with um, coronavirus it was not going to come through customs so I don't know how everybody was getting orders from overseas they were because I was seeing I, they were because I was seeing a bunch of unboxings but um, it was not shipped until I guess I guess until they got the okay from customs that it was going to go through with no issues um, but I'm happy that they waited because I would rather get my plants a little bit late um, than have them destroyed by customs. Okay, so that's the first one. This next one um, is, so, some of these are repeat buys. I don't mind that. I know some people do, but I don't. This is um, Arifidophora tetrasperma. I have a much larger one that's on a moss pole over there. But um, this one was just so bushy and cute. And I, I just saw it at a local nursery and I just had to get it. She's really cute. I love her. This is just one plant. It has two vines. Uh, oh, actually three growth points on here. So um, I expect it to get bushier and bushier and bushier and I'm excited to see it because I have my other one climbing, but I just want to let this one do its thing. All right, next up, we do have this purple passion plant. I got this very recently. It's actually not my plant. I bought it for Lee. Um, he's right over there. That's why I just looked that way. Hello. <laughs> um, I got it for Lee. Um, I was just at a local nursery and I saw it and this is his like favorite color purple and it's fuzzy and it looks kind of like creepy but also pretty and I knew he was gonna love it so it was like eight dollars it was actually seven ninety nine. so I just I just picked it up for him we're looking for like a gray or black cash pot cash pot cash po. I'm just gonna call it cash pot um, we're looking for something like that so that it can be a nice goth plant Next up, because I want to hang it back up so that Scarlet will stop playing with it, I have this Monstera Adansonii Friedrich Stallii, maybe? I'm probably wrong about that, but it's a narrow form Monstera Adansonii. Um, I just love this plant. It just looks so, it looks so nice. It usually hangs right above me right here, so it'll probably be in the next frame, honestly. But, um... Yeah, I just, I really like her. I wanted this one to trail. I just, I love the way it looks in our space. And I'm really happy I picked it up. Next, I'm gonna talk about this girl right here. This is my lovely, lovely Philodendron Birkin. I have been on a journey with this plant. Um, not this specific plant, just this variety of Philodendron. Um, I had a much smaller one that I got months ago and it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. It just didn't. It just didn't look the way that I wanted it to. It didn't really grow as quickly as I wanted it to, and it just the the veining on the leaves wasn't quite what I wanted it to be. And I just kind of hated the plant, hated it. And I was like, Philodendron Birkin sucks. It's overrated. Don't buy one. But then I was at a local nursery and I found this girl, and she is so beautiful and the veining is like perfect on it. It looks so sketched on. Um, I can't, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. It just, and I, I, I fell back in love with this plant. So I just had to get it. 
So I, so I did, I picked it up. This is my Philodendron Birkin. I'm really in love with the plant. I love this plant. I'm really happy that I bought it. Next up, actually, from the same place that I got my uh, Philodendron Birkin, I did pick up a Peperomia Piccolo Banda. I love this plant. I was just about to order one on Etsy, but then I just happened to find it at a local nursery. I love when that happens. Um, yeah, so I just, I had to get it. It's so cute. It's just so cute. I am not really a Peperomia lover. I, you know, most of my love does tend to go to aeroids. There are some Peperomias that I just, I, they just, they just get me. I, I just, I just like them. Um, so all of the Peperomias that I really like, I probably have now at this point. So I don't think I'm gonna be buying many more, but this is my Peperomia Piccolo Banda. It's so cute. We're kind of getting to the juicy stuff now. I've left like most of what I'm really, really excited about for last. Um, I guess I'm gonna talk about this one right next to me. It is my beautiful beast. This is my Alocasia Frydeck. I love her so much. I've had this one for probably about three months now and she just does nothing but grow for me. Um, I've never had a problem with her. She is thirsty. Um, she does like humidity, but right now, I mean, the humidity is at about 60% in here right now, and that's kind of where it stays, so she seems to be liking that. Um, and she just keeps growing and growing. This is the newest leaf right here. It's so pretty. And there are a bunch of little there are a bunch of little pups about to come up, so I'm really excited about that. So I love this plant. I love it so much. I love alocasias. I wish I had more of them. Um, that's probably going to be coming soon. You'll probably see some alocasia hauls. But anyway, this one just, this ticks all the boxes for me. I mean, we've got the beautiful veining, the nice dark velvety foliage, and it's just, I love the leaf shape. I just, I look at I look at this plant and I'm like nature's so cool. I also have another alocasia frydeck right here. Again, I ordered from Green Spaces ID and then didn't receive my plants for like three months. So in the time that I was waiting for it, I did buy some duplicates of the plants that I got from Green Spaces. Um, but this I'm happy that I bought this big one right here because this is not it's not. She's not looking sexy, is she? Um, yeah. I mean, sometimes when you're importing plants, you just it's just the name of the game. You, you, you lose some leaves. This one I actually had to start back from basically a stump. I had this one leaf that was dying, but I didn't cut it off yet because it was the growth point. Um, so I've got this new leaf unfurling right here. When it, har when it finishes unfurling and starts to harden off, I think I'll remove this dying, decrepit leaf. It actually looks kind of cool. It's like bleached. Can you see that? I actually don't mind the way that this looks in death, but I will remove it at some point. Next up, we have both of my little, little, little philodendron gloriosums. Um, both are growing. This one, I think, it only has one leaf, but it is in much better condition than this one. This one suffered in shipping a bit more than the other one. Um, so, uh, you know, this one it just is what it is. It's not really, it's growing a little bit. I don't know, I don't know. I like it, I'm happy that I have it, but I think I prefer this one. So I'm just gonna talk about this one while I have it in my hands, you know. I. It's such a small leaf, but I'm really happy that I have it. It's got another leaf about to about to pop out right here. I'm so excited to see what size this is. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what um, what happens with these plants because I, you know, I just I have this dream of having like a corner in my apartment that just has philodendron gloriosum taking up the whole thing, and it's just a big, beautiful, giant leafed plant. That's my goal. So, I like her. Next up, for all you Hoya heads, this is the only Hoya that I have bought recently. It is my Hoya Obovada. This was shipped to me very recently and it's still in the packaging. I'm gonna do something with it probably later today. But um, yeah, I, I like this plant. I'm starting to get into Hoya. 
I'm not an expert by any means on how to take care of them, so if you have any tips, please leave them in the comment section. Um, yeah, I just, I started getting into Hoya, so there will be many Hoya hauls coming in, you know, in the next couple months probably. Next up we have my Monstera Sandaliana Albo Variegata. I'm really excited to have this plant. It did suffer in shipping. It's got three, four yellowing leaves that I'm actually just leaving on. Um, for now, I'll remove them eventually, but I'm not, in a, I'm not in a hurry. It does have this new leaf that's just coming out. It's a little bit dwarfed, but I, you know, I sort of expected that after shipping, you know, the stress and stuff. So I'm just gonna keep growing this one. I think I'm gonna put it on a pole and let it climb. Um, I really like it. It's super cute. The variegation isn't exactly what I maybe would have wanted, but it is. It does seem to be pretty standard for this one. I don't often see Monstera sandaliana that has like sectoral variegation on it. It's normally just these little flecks. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, but it's normally just these little flecks. I'm not mad about that. So yeah, it's a cute. It's a cute little plant. Next up, I have both of my philodendron Milano chrysums. You know, I've got a little baby one and I've got this bigger one that does have a leaf that is suffering, but I'm going to leave it on until I think it's complete. I think I'm going to leave it on until it's completely yellow. Let the plant leach out whatever nutrients it wants from it. Um, yeah, this one suffered a little bit in shipping. Most of it is just cosmetic damage. I'm really not too worried about it. It has a new leaf coming out. I can feel the little bump right here, but yeah, I like this one. I gave it a little pull can't wait for it to climb and get really big. I just love, I love the velvet leaves on this one. It's amazing. Here I have a little cutting of a philodendron brantianum. I'm really excited to have this one. I really love this plant. I'd love, I have this vision of like a hanging basket of philodendron brantianum, but you know, I only have two leaves right now. So that's going to take a really long time, but we do have roots. We do have a little root there. I don't know if you can see it, but you know, I'm excited about that. That means I'm, you know, I'm going to have a plant eventually. And I just got this on Facebook Marketplace. Um, not too expensive, actually. Really not too expensive. And last but absolutely not least, we have my cutting of a philodendron pink princess. I'm so excited to have this plant. I just love this plant. Um, I went through a, a little phase where I thought that it was kind of an overrated plant and I think it definitely can be you know if the variegation's not really on point but I I love I just I just stare at this plant sometimes I really just love it I love it a lot it's a uh, it's losing one of its leaves it's its oldest leaf I'm not too worried about that because we do have some roots I don't know if you can see that little guy poking off right there but We've got roots, so I'm excited about that, and eventually I will have a big, big, tall, pink princess philodendron plant. I'm really excited about it. Those are all of the plants that I still have that I have bought during quarantine. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, there are gonna be more videos coming much more frequently. There just hasn't been much going on. We're moving. So after that, there will be many, many videos. A plant tour will be coming. What plants have you bought during quarantine? I'd love to know. We can get a conversation going in the, in the comment section below. Um, thank you so much for joining me and have a great day.